I think that uh, that the growth has been driven primarily by uh, uh, VIP uh, or higher end gambling in Macau for the past several months. But I think that that baton is being shifted to a different hand where it's going to mass growth revenues. Um, the mass growth revenues are probably poised to to grow about 15 percent over the next six to 12 months. VIP revenues, uh, which have been the primary driver of growth, uh, more likely in the high single digits. So, what, so one of the things that happens in Macau is that uh, these gamblers come in on junkets, these VIP junkets, and they go to a casino with their junket and they get special chips to use and gamble there. And it's been a big driver of the revenue. But you're saying, and we've heard it on these earnings calls, Harry, uh, we've heard the, the uh, CEOs say that mass market is really seeing a big pickup here. What's pushing that change in trend? I think on the VIP side, and this is uh, this is really bizarre. Uh, the um, the casino operators have to be careful about um, a growth rate that is too strong, um, because then that invites more scrutiny from mainland China. Whereas on the mass side, that's the piece of the of the puzzle that that mainland China really is okay with, and and, and so there's probably been an increased focus on mass revenue growth. Are, are you concerned, Harry, about demand um, as we enter, I don't want to say the depths of the trade war, but I mean, things look like they're going to get worse before they get better on the, on the trade front. Um, are you factoring that in in terms of the impact that could have on demand, whether it be mainstream gambling or VIP gambling? I mean, throw on top of that a stock market that's down considerably in China. Is that putting pressure on VIP demand, for instance? It really isn't. Um, uh -huh. I, I, I think that uh, if you think about it, uh, for example, a softer Chinese currency could, in fact, be a catalyst for increased demand as 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 more customers uh, want to use um, uh, currency leakage, to coin a phrase, uh, uh, if they're worried about uh, the direction of the of, of the Chinese currency. Um, so, uh, and the other thing about uh, about the the trade war. I don't think that, that, that the trade war really has a heck of a lot of, of negative impact on, the, on, your, on your mass customer. Um, I, I think in the long run, the bigger issue with the trade war is the ownership structure of the U.S. Uh, the US operators since they, they own over 70% of the equity in these, in these businesses.